this is obtainable for everybody out there right now, today. The movement of people trying to be more and more self-sufficient in their lives, it's starting to grow and I believe that people just want a sense of control in their life once again. Everybody's starting to look into homesteading, what they can do, where they can live, what they need in order to start being more self-sufficient and start to get more and more into building their own homestead. <laughs> that wasn't the best crow. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Seeing all these people online though, and you could see everyone who has these beautiful looking homesteads. They have these really nice small farms, hobby farms. They have a backyard that has a lot of space. You just feel like they have all the resources they could possibly need to make this happen. And you don't have any of those. So how could you ever actually get into homesteading? I feel like we got lucky about two years ago when we fell into this property. And what I mean by that is that when we were house hunting and looking for a spot that did have a good amount of land, we actually settled on putting on offers in houses that didn't have as much space as we have now. And they were houses that were a little bit nicer maybe than the house that we have now. But we finally fell into this property that actually has the land. So we've been able to have chickens, we've had pigs, we have a good sized garden that we've been able to grow our own food here. And although I know you feel like these are things that you need to have in order to be able to have a homestead, I'm here to tell you that I feel like that is a lie and I feel like people want to keep pushing that, almost discouraging people from doing this. And I want to do the opposite. I want to say that you could start homesteading even if you have no land at all. And I truly believe that to be true because as much as homesteading has to do with all this stuff that you have to use to become more self-sufficient, I sometimes believe it more to be even just a mindset than it is to have all this stuff to do. I said! Because what is homesteading truly, right? It's the steps and steps to try to be more self-sufficient and even in the term, homesteading. It all starts inside of your home and most importantly, like I said, your mind. So what you need to do is you need to commit that this is something that you want to do. And let's say you live in an apartment right now, right? That works out perfect because you don't have your own land or property or anything to work with. So you won't be able to maybe have a garden like you see behind me. But what you can do is start to grow a few things inside your house. Whatever is possible. Most of the time that is just herbs because growing those herbs and you practicing working on that or maybe doing strawberries inside your house, something really small like that will help put those first few steps into place, right? So now you don't need to go to the store and you don't need to buy those herbs because you're growing them inside your own house. Obviously you wouldn't be able to have chickens if that was the case. So now you're thinking, what are you going to do? Like you really want to have chickens so that you can have fresh eggs from them. Now you need to go to somebody who does have chickens. So somebody like me, but obviously most of you guys aren't going to be living right next to me. So somebody local that owns chickens that you can buy their eggs from. A lot of people sell their eggs. We don't sell them in big bulk, but we have people that I work with or family and friends that we will give eggs out to because we're not going to use all of our eggs from 25 chickens. And one of the next things you could do and something that we've been doing here is like homemaking your own bread. This is a huge one because bread has so many bad things in it, the ones that you get from the store. And homemaking your own bread is like two to three ingredients. That's all you need. And then that's another item that you don't need to buy from the grocery store anymore, that you are self-sustainably getting yourself. And you just slowly cut down on items like that one by one and just keep home making a lot of these foods that everybody used to make from scratch before the grocery store basically started selling everything way cheaper. Everyone just feeling like they need to get it from there. Now of course I know I'm going to get comments about it saying like well it's easy for you to say you have the land and I get it. If you have a piece of land especially a good portion of it then of course you're going to be able to homestead the way that you would like. And I will agree with you guys if you have a good piece of land that we're lucky enough to have or even have a half acre of land, there is more advantages that you can have to homesteading. So I would never mention that you can do the same thing as somebody else who has no land to someone who does have it. But what I'm trying to tell you is that it's not a necessity. Yes, it gives you a step up and an advantage. Now we can have chickens that free range more. If we didn't have this big a piece of land and we had a smaller one, then maybe we would have like four chickens instead of 30. It's still something. You can't let it slow you down. You need to keep your mindset that you want to homestead and then start to pursue it. So then maybe in a few years when you do get the piece of land, you can start putting this together more because you've already 
put your mind in the right place and a few of the steps to get to it. I wanted to make this video because I want as many people who think they want to go out and start homesteading to start putting those small steps toward self-sufficiency and homesteading. We don't want people to start feeling held back on living like this. I believe the more people that are out there living towards this lifestyle, it'll turn out so much better for the world in general because a lot of people will really start thinking about where their food comes from, the choices, their products that they're using. We can start going back to just a more natural way of living. So we need to stop discouraging people from homesteading by telling them that they need all the land in the world, that they need all this money to get into it. Although those are things that will help somebody get farther into this self-sufficient lifestyle, it is not something by any means that is necessary to start doing it. You can start it basically with not much money at all and no land at all and still at least do something that puts you in that direction that you want to be. And I want everyone to start feeling this way. I want people to start being able to understand that homesteading all starts inside of your home. It doesn't matter what you have on the outside. It doesn't matter all the money that you have. You can start doing things today. You don't have to wait. This isn't something that you need to wait and get the big piece of land or anything like that. Like this is obtainable for everybody out there right now, today. So you don't have all the room to do this. You don't have all the resources to get a chicken coop right now if you want chickens. Slowly do it. You don't have to rush into everything. Society has always pushed us to rush and do things as fast as possible, obtain things as fast as possible, and we don't need to do that. We can take our time with things, slowly build something. The good things in life take time, and I believe that true with homesteading as well. You're not gonna build the ultimate homestead that you want in one year, probably not two years or three years. This is a gradual step-by-step -step process to get everything that you want. You're not eating anymore. Nope. We have five roosters that make a ton of noise. I'm surprised you don't hear any crowing right now, to be honest. I'm thinking two of them aren't going to be with us too much longer after this winter. One, just really loud, and two, they're trying to stand up and try to get us. I hope this video gives people the motivation to go out there and start homesteading right now, whether you have the land or not. As I said before, it is all in your head. This is something that you can start to build right now and it doesn't need to be something that is like this far out distant in the future. It's something you can do today. Any of the stuff that you cannot physically do right now because you don't have the land, outsource it to people that are doing it. It might not be you doing it, but it's still supporting everyone who is out there living more self-sufficiency. You're helping them. You're getting good quality stuff back from them. And this is something we all can do. Have a great day and a better tomorrow. We'll see you in the next one.